Hey, what is up guys? I've not long got back from work, so excuse the hat, has a bit of a mess, etc. But I come back to a box. What's hopefully in the box is a 3DS. Uh, I've got the new version of it. Uh, just here to show an unboxing, really. And let's get straight into it, shall we? Just gonna mount it up. There we go. Alright. So first of all, I've got an Obviously open it. Got this um, Nintendo from the Nintendo store. Came on the day. Uh, some people may have got it a day before. My friend did. He got the limited edition Zelda one. I've gone with the basic metallic black version. So let's just get this wrapping out of the way. With the Nintendo versions you get this nice uh, Zelda Majora's Mask case as such. I believe they call it a case anyway. Yeah, system case they call it. It's pretty nice. Uh, I haven't been big into Zelda because I've only really started getting Nintendo products now, like the Wii U and stuff like that. I missed out on like the um, 64 generation sort of stuff. SNES and NES I was a bit young to have. I, I started out on the PS1. So I've been really late getting into it, and this is my first 3DS. Uh, my last Nintendo product would have been the DS, and I've had the Game Boy Colors, of course, for you know when Pokemon started coming. I think well, it's before then, really, but you know it happens. Right, so now we get down to the 3DS itself, a um, metallic black version of it. Very nice. In a minute. We've also got the Majora's Mask Special Edition with it, so it includes like posters and whatever else it comes with. And I believe this version of Zelda is probably I'm going to probably appreciate more just because it's not the Zelda I've heard of with Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask has been a bit of a weird one from what I remember. And uh, what is this? Ah, okay, okay, guys, okay, okay, okay. If I can open it in a second, which might take my nose. Look at this. Look at this cheeky mofo. Let's get him in the right light. Skull kid. Plastic, so he's a bit... He's not what I would call amazingly perfect, etc. But... He's pretty cool. He can stand. He can sit next to my um, amiibo, I guess, because that's all my amiibo does currently. He can stand there with him. It's nice to have little things like this. Does his mask come off, or is it just stuck on? I guess it's just stuck on. Cool. Either way, nice little novel thing to have with it. It's a nice sort of thing to go with it. I'm sure the guys that are into Zelda really appreciate this sort of thing. So yeah, sweet. Let's get that box out of the way. So already, people must know that this doesn't come with a charger. I mean, if you look at the size of the box, if they manage to fit a charger in this size box, I'll be amazed. So fortunately enough, Nintendo do send your charger out early. Well, I got mine like Monday, way early than obviously the game itself. So that's cool. We'll put the game aside, put that there and there. We'll get onto the actual Nintendo DS itself. I'm not going to be able to probably start because it's not going to have probably any juice. Although if it does, sweet. So, open them up. I'm assuming I'm going to have to pull this out. Into the 3DS. Let's see, of the beauty. And like that. Nice glossy sort of finish so you can see there's sort of like a I don't know if you call it a weed but you know like you know like carbon fiber you see there's like diagonals going across the, the you know the finish stuff like that thumbs up snaps to click really nice solid snap in I really like how solid that feels and then if you take them off you got a nice analog stick that I really do actually like. It feels really nice already. Nice solid buttons. 
a C stick which I've already know this and you can all just about hear like little clicks when you're moving it but um it's, you don't really actually feel the movement of the C stick it's just more like a I don't know what you'd call it but yeah very really nice the buttons are quite nicely done with the new version I believe you do have these Z buttons there and there you have the normal bumpers charge port I assume that's like a IR of some sort perhaps I guess for when you're doing your what we call it I don't know a great deal about these really but this is of course the XL version if anyone hasn't noticed already um, stylus would be on the bottom well sorry it'll be from the front on the bottom pull out that is your stylus nice cool looking stylus power button, you have your connectivity indicators, you have a headphone port straight down the middle how I like it you have your obviously your game cards as such so in this case Monster Hunter, my first ever try of it I'll go in there I've read a lot about Monster Hunter before getting it of course because it's a game you can't really just jump into and enjoy I feel you just sort of need to learn how that game works and how you progress in that game so yeah, um, first first opinion's really nice. Let's see if it's got any juice. Ooh, looks like it does. Looks like it does. Let's see if it loads up. Nice solid, sort of clicky analog. Ah, we're getting just straight into it. Got 3D there. Which obviously, I, there's no point in me actually showing you any of this, I don't think it actually works in this anyway. Let's just turn that down a little bit. But yeah, going through the process I guess. Um, so I can just do the touchpad on this. Ensure that the 3D depth size is to the right of the, of the screen is at the top and touch next. Ah, so this is stuff for me now. And it goes through a very detailed sort of 3D sort of thing. I'm just going to show you this right now so you get sort of the gist of how this works if I can. So from now this is basically straight in front of my head and obviously if I lean and then if I lean that way it's better to get on the camera. But yeah that's how th this camera works about getting your 3D, obviously there's no point in me showing you the 3D on the screen because that's going to be no use to you. But yeah, it's damn that's pretty impressive. But yeah, just going to go through everything quickly I guess. So it'll be normal date stuff. This will just give you a quick rundown of what you need to set up a th new 3DS. And also give you what you should be able to do when you've got existing 3DS stuff to transfer across.
Right, sorry for such a brief video for the time being of the unboxing. Um, not much more I can say about it right now because I haven't actually used it just yet. I mean, it's just sat here, waiting to be played. As I say, I've got Majora's Mask as well as Monster Hunter 4 to play. So I'll probably get back to you guys. Um, I am probably going to play some Monster Hunter first because I've got two other guys to play with, which... It's going to be a different experience for me completely because I generally haven't played multiplayer games on a portable. So that's the thing. I have got to play more Evolved. Well, actually, I've got to play some. I mean, it came out Tuesday. Um, I didn't get a chance to replay yet. I played like a match, if that. And that match was not fun because there's a 32 FPS, uh, 32 FPS bug here. So that wasn't great. It's sorted now. I played another. So yeah, I've got to do that as well. Hopefully this weekend I'm going to get cracking with that for you guys. Um, maybe just show off some Monster Hunter if I can. I don't know how I'm going to redo that though. Like, I'll maybe just talk about Monster Hunter. It's probably the best bet. It's not going to be great otherwise. Other videos I still need to do is some Jazz Punk, Mass Effect. Um, probably some other things that I can squeeze in when I've got the time. But honestly, we're working like I am at the moment, it's pretty hard except for the weekend, just plug it, put it all in. Here is the Storm video, anyone that's watched that so far, thank you very much. Also, going back a little while now, my X99 build, last time I checked was 1,600 views, pretty surprised that actually happened. Thanks a lot to anyone that did watch that, that's freaking fantastic start already, and yeah, hope to keep it going. Till next time, thank you very much, see you later.